hello guys so in today's video i'm going to be teaching us how to record your expenses in zoho books all right these are dashboards so all we need to do is to go to our purchase module and under our purchase module you find expenses um you can either click on the expenses button or you click on the plus button to add the new expenses so let's click on the plus button and it takes us to the page where we can add a new expense all right um all right so you choose your expense account what account you want you to report into all right you the amount could be nine thousand you choose right and you pay through what is it pay through bank is it bank and cash was it paid through and you can sell your tax if applicable and select a vendor now one important thing i want us to know is that wherever we see this um red letters it simply means that it is compulsory to be able to put something um within the box a value within the box because if you don't it's not going to go through so let's try something so we selected an account let's say cost of goods sold right and an amount let's put five thousand so we are not selecting pay through right so let's let's okay notes mm, for travel all right so let's try it if it's going to go it's not just going to go because there's a prompt can you see select um please select a pay through account so it's not going to go through all right so in this case but we want to select i want to be able to record bank expenses so how do you do that in zoho books I'll do that in Zoho Books. That means you want to record bank expenses rather than just going, saving it, renew, um, you know, same, um, populating it new, populating it new. You want to be able to record all your expenses at once if possible. And also, it's also possible that you can also import your expense in Zoho Books, which means you can just go here and import expenses. But should in case you want to record bank expenses, let's go back to the page. <clears throat> so we have bank add expenses bank and expenses so the first thing we want to select is that date so what's that date so let's select for this one 15 of this month which is january oh let me go 15 of january all right pay and um, select an account that means an expense account let's select let's okay let's select an account for this let's select um okay let's select elect electricity expenses what's the amount five thousand pay through bank vendor you could select the vendor if applicable and if you don't have the vendor in the system you can just come to create new vendor right you can select the vendor um tax your customer if you want to record customer let's select now school and project if applicable all right let's go for the next one so for this one let's call it um let's say parking parking is one thousand select an account um petty cash vendor if applicable if not just leave it all right we didn't select the date so let's select 17 of january so this one let's select 19 an account what's the account um travel expenses travel expense and our travel expense let's go for fifty thousand. an account was it paid through is it paid through petty cash on deposited funds or bank and cash so i select bank and cash are supposed to be bank really so vendor if applicable so let's just go fast so we have 15 um we have let's select 23 of you know, 23 of january okay what's the account for this so let's just go for lodging and in lodging we can lodge for thirty thousand, right okay another one the next one is 31st of january so let's select an account for it okay let me just go up a little bit 
so let's 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 just go for let's just go for general office expense and uh, let's go for fifty thousand right you could just select an account here which is is it pay through bank this one should be let's say bank and cash but basically bank all right so we've been able to record um our bank as our bank um expenses so we're able to record five. so let's save it so by saving it you see all our expenses here now in all books you can attach a support document which simply means something like a receipt let me put it that way you can attach a receipt to your expenses but you can't do that on bank expense when you are recording a bank expenses um you can't do that so all you need to do if you want to attach a receipt maybe just for clarity purpose you can come to this place and see upload your files so the moment you click upload your files you see it and then you'll be able to upload all right that's how to record your bank expenses in zoho can you see so we have a journal entry and um, bank is being credited right and our expenses is being debited and so on and so forth so that's how to record um bank expense if you want to record your bank expenses in zoho books all right thank you so much and make sure you follow us for more bye